There's something really special about these early Telecasters, uh, especially the ones made in the Fullerton factory right here in Southern California. Um, something about the way the weight feels when you play them, something about the neck, um, something that I've never felt in any other guitar that I've owned or played for that matter. And I just feel really lucky to be able to own one. Hey, I'm making my guitar movie. Come over and jam for a minute. I'll be right over. All right, sweet. this guitar is kind of a funny story. Um, I had been looking for one for a while after owning a lot of guitars I just never quite bonded with any of them like I'd like to and uh, I looked at a lot locally um, at local shops, local ads and picked them all up and played them all. The weight never felt quite right and uh, just the way they sat in my hands wasn't quite what I was looking for and I saw an ad online actually in Los Angeles and uh, I took a blind leap of faith and I drove out to Los Angeles to a tiny apartment in Century City to a studio of a country musician. The guy was a guitar tech for a country musician who was on tour and he was actually liquidating a lot of his equipment. And as soon as I saw it, I just had a good feeling about it. I picked it up, the weight felt just right in my hands and the neck felt just right, it fit my hand perfectly. Played a couple chords and I knew I had a good one. And uh, what makes these American Fenders, specifically these Telecasters, so sought after today in the music industry is the quality. Um, to me, just a much higher quality product than one that you could buy at the store today, say made in China, made in Japan, even made in a Mexico factory. With these guitars, you hold the neck and you really feel the lines of where someone sanded and chiseled these away with their bare hands as opposed to just being punched out with a machine like they are today. So there's really something special and it really gives these guitars a soul. It makes them something that everybody wishes to play and not everybody can, so very lucky to be able to have one. One of the cool things about these guitars too is that uh, because they're so well loved and so well played, uh, they don't come for sale very often. So when they do, you really gotta snag them up. And one of the cool things is that not only is it a great guitar to play, great guitar to use, but it's also a great investment because the person before me had this for however long, probably someone had it before him that possibly bought it new in 1951, which says a lot about the testimony to uh, build quality that they were using in that Southern California factory. And I'm lucky enough to have it now and I'm sure my kids will have it and grandkids I'm sure. And I expect and hope this guitar to be in the family for as long as it's alive. Mm -hmm. 